Hello everybody, welcome back. Early, I know, but I wanted to do a, a, a little video. Uh, I had a question. Somebody asked me the difference between uh, aftershave and, you know, the toilet and perfume and things like that. And at first I wasn't going to, I was just kind of going to ignore it because I thought, well, that's just easy to find out. Google it. But then I got thinking, no, every video or review or whatever on anything is always somebody's first. Uh, so maybe it's a young person out there just getting started. Well, I know they were a young person uh, just getting started and they're not 100% sure. Maybe they can't read real well. Hey, that's fine. Maybe everybody learns at their own pace. Uh, so maybe reading is... Or maybe they have a hard time comprehending what they read when they read. I, I know a few people like that. They can read, but the comprehension is hard for them. Or maybe they just get overwhelmed, which is probably the case, because there's so much information out there on everything. I mean, there, there's no such thing as too much information. I, I don't believe in that. I believe get all the information you can. But there is such thing as too much information too fast, all at once. Boom. And you just get overwhelmed. Uh, and personally, I'm able to, when I want to go through something, I'm able to absorb the information in my own pace. I know when when I've had enough for the day, if I'm reviewing something or doing work for school, put it away for a couple hours, come back to it, refresh. That's the way I work. Uh, some people can't do that. So so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do this video. And this video isn't for most of you guys who know what the difference is. And, and I'm going to explain it basically rules of thumb. These aren't hard set rules. There's not really any rules to tell you the truth. Um, but these are just basic rules of thumb. And the rule of thumb is more perfume oil and or more alcohol or vice versa. Less alcohol and less perfume oil. Whatever you, however you want to say. But the rule of thumb is basically it goes aftershave, eau de cologne, eau de toilette. Eau de Parfum, Parfum, and then lately Elixir, but Elixir is, uh, sometimes it's just the title of an Elixir, like it's just fucking Jimmy Jojo's Elixir, but it's only, a, it could be only an Eau de Toilette, usually it's an Eau de Parfum, you know, it's about a 50-50 shot, but the Elixir can also, like Dior Elixir, Dior Sauvage Elixir, has a lot more oils in it than just your basic Eau de Parfum or Parfum, it's... You know, and it's kind of the one, I don't know if it's the first one, but it started this trend where it seemed to be on. Um, and then you've got your fragrant oils, um, your straight up oils. They're the strongest. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, mostly it's projection and longevity. Um, less oils you have, more alcohol you have, projects better. Um, so generally, an aftershave is going to project better than an eau de parfum. <laughs> The problem is that eau de parfum is still going to project pretty good usually. And it's going to project for a couple hours, three hours. Whereas an aftershave is going to out project it, but usually a lot, but only for like a half hour, 40 minutes. Because it doesn't have, once the alcohol is evaporated off your skin, which is carrying the a lot of the uh, <clears throat> fragrant oils with it, that's what projection is. That's what projecting and uh, where it's got so much alcohol, most, most, uh, aftershaves are almost all alcohol really it's it's used as an astringent an aftershave now there's a thing too you can you can i'll get into it just let me finish this first train of thought um so yeah uh, aftershaves will generally project longer louder most aftershaves are beast mode for the first 20 minutes half hour 40 minutes type deal and then they come in real quick and they're a skin scent um Whereas, like I said, something like even an eau de toilette, a good eau de toilette, is going to give you a couple hours of projection. It may not be as loud as that aftershave, but it will last, so it'll project a lot longer. Um, and you can go in order to, like I said, and this is just, like I said, rule of thumb, it doesn't always have to be that case. But if you're looking for straight projection, you don't care about how long it lasts, you only need it for a half hour, 40 minutes, you want to smell great, aftershave. Eau de Cologne, Eau de Toilette, uh, Eau de Parfum, Parfum, Oil, project more, project, 
or project louder, project softer. Now, that doesn't mean these ones are soft projectors. Again, for example, look at the uh, Savage Elixir. That shit projects monstrously for hours. But, rule of thumb, that's what it is. Um, you can also inter interchange the two. You don't have to use an aftershave. It's just an aftershave. You don't have to use a cologne. It's just a cologne. You can use a cologne as an aftershave if you want. Um, still got plenty of alcohol in it, believe it or not. A lot of them do. The only one I wouldn't use as an aftershave is maybe an elixir, a, a true elixir, like, like, like Sauvage, where it's a lot of oil. It could irritate your skin quite heavily. Um, or don't, definitely don't use a fragrant oil because there's no alcohol in it. <laughs> so you're not getting any of the astringent effects. Um, and that's important too when you shave an astringent effect because I don't know about you guys, but I've seen a guy get an infection from a shave cut and it's not pretty. And it takes a while to go away, believe it or not. And it can be very painful. Um, so I always use an aftershave, a cologne, an eau de cologne or something after you're done shaving. Uh, or an aftershave balm or, or something to help clean if you got a nick it doesn't get infected and if you get a bad enough nick make sure you use a septic pen septic <sighs> septic pen uh, it's pencil whatever you want to call it it's that little thing that stops the bleeding and it it really helps um keep it from getting infected um so that's the difference the basic rule of thumb more oils more alcohol whatever you want to however you want to define it and now there are exceptions to those rules um Again, I've used this a few times, but this is an elixir, and this stuff performs better than almost anything I have, including aftershaves. Um, not in longevity. Aftershaves don't last long for the most part, with the exception of one, and I'll get into that. But this is one of those ones where the elixir is actually an elixir. It's got a lot of fragrant oils in it. Not good as an aftershave for sure, but definitely will give you lots of projection. Um... Then you have an eau de toilette like this, uh, YSLY. The original EDT from, geez, five years ago now. Man, time flies. Um, I get great performance out of this one. This one performs as well as any any EDP or perfume that I have. And it's just an eau de toilette. And it's just the type of scent it is. Um, these are all exceptions to the rule I'm kind of giving you. Uh, and then there's Old Spice. My God, Old Spice aftershave. Hours of performance, solid hour, hour and a half, a solid projection. I mean, it is an aftershave, but it outperforms most EDTs that I own. So, and then there's the exception here. Or not the exception, but uh, Sauvage Eau de Toilette and Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Um, by the rule of thumb, this follows the rule of thumb that I talked about. Again, not solid rules, just basic rules where this projects a hell of a lot stronger than this, but this lasts a hell of a lot longer than this. And both of these are, are beast performers. So you're getting a lot for your money with, with the Sauvage line, if you like the smell. And I don't know who wouldn't. It's a nice smell. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that either don't like it or they're just, it's cool to hate. So, but anyway, the point is, is, that's basically the rule. Now, I don't I have oils. I, you guys have seen them. I don't know where I put them. Um, but oils are, again, oils are strong enough that people don't realize your nose, no matter who you are, almost 90% of the people, I'd say, when you put on a few, they don't realize you only need a few drops of an oil because they're strong. And uh, most people go nose blind almost immediate to them because their nose just shuts down. It's like, no, nope, that's too much. We don't want to smell that anymore. And, uh, yeah, so they put on more than they need. You don't need more than a few drops of oil, honestly. And you've all clean yourselves, too, is another big, I know this sounds, I shouldn't have to say this, but a shower, clean clothes, these things will help your cologne perform way better than dirty skin or dirty clothes. Again, no expert, when do you wash? Some people say you can go two or three days without washing, or you should. Some people say, no, you got to wash once or twice a day. I'm a shower daily guy. That's pretty much what I think most people are, a shower or bath daily. Um, and that's more than enough to keep your body clean. Unless you're getting dirty, playing a sport, being a mechanic, whatever your job is, um, you might need a second shower. But for the most part, one shower a day is good for people. Um, and it 
just works better in your clothes. I don't know why again. I'm not a scientist, not a chemist. I don't know. I just know it works better. Same as clean clothes. The cleaner your clothes, the better your cologne's going to smell on them if you're a clothes sprayer. I am. Um, I always spray my shirt with something when I'm wearing it. Um, it just works better. Now, when do you have to clean your clothes? Again, I'm no expert. I don't know. When they're dirty. When they're sweaty and dirty, clean your clothes. Um, jeans, I know if you don't get them sweat too much or get them dirty, I know most people, myself included, don't wash jeans. Sometimes it's I wear them a dozen times before I give them a wash because just sitting there watching a movie with a friend or something, no need to wash my jeans in the next laundry load. I didn't do anything to them. They Actually, it's recommended from what I understand for jeans not to be washed all the time. Only wash them when they're absolutely necessary. So, because we've all smelled that hippie, speaking of perfume oils, patchouli oil, where if you a musty motherfucker, you a musty motherfucker. It don't help putting on any kind of oil because now you just smell, or perfume or cologne, because now you just smell like a musty motherfucker trying to cover up the musty motherfucking smell with some cologne. You know what I mean? We've all smelled, like I said, we've all been on a bus, we've all been in a a chic part of our town where your hippies are, you know, and they think it keeps them, they don't smell like dirty hippies and, and, and weed. They smell like fresh and effervescent patchouli. No, you smell like you trying to cover up that funk. And so wash your body, wash your clothes, do your teeth, you know, whatever you got to do, do all that stuff, make yourself smell good. And it'll help with the cologne smelling the way it should. Um, but anyway, back, off subject there for a minute, sorry. Um, yeah, basically, use an aftershave, an eau de cologne, or an EDT after you shave. The other ones, like I said, you can get away with eau de parfum and parfum, but I really wouldn't. They can irritate the skin if they've got a high concentration of oil. Um, definitely don't use a, a, a true elixir. Um, but you can interchange, basically, eau de toilette, eau de cologne, and aftershave as there's no real reason you can um and you can use an aftershave as a cologne a night out cologne and some people will be here oh no you've got to have this and it's not a cologne and it's not. No, motherfucker i we have all known men our fathers probably and, and and even friends their whole routine their only scent they have is an aftershave and it works fine on them when they go out how many times is a man yourself even maybe shave going out for the night whatever you're doing with the wife, with, with the boyfriend, I don't care, whatever you're doing, significant other. Oh. You get in the shower, you know, shave, shower, you know, and then you put on your aftershave. And that's their whole scent for the day. It's perfectly fine. There's no reason you can't do that. Especially if you got something like this that just seems to perform better than most cologne. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the difference between aftershave. I know it was a long video for really nothing, but... Young fella asked me, and I wasn't going to do it, but I thought, hey, he, he he's wondering, and maybe he's just a little overwhelmed with all the information out there, because there's a ton, and a ton of misinformation, Like, and again, like I said, I'm not an expert. These are just rules of thumb that I've, over 30 years, have noticed myself. Um, so, yeah. So, buddy, I hope that helps, and I hope that helps anybody else, and if you watched the video and you liked it, well, thank you. Yeah, but it's not for everybody. I know that. All right, guys. Peace. Love. Be good to each other.